Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome to the dirtiest, messiest inn in the land and giant insects wandering around outside. We really need a ranch for them. Speaking of, let's try creating an outpost. I just want to see what we actually need for these. So we just need, um, oh, minimal of 10 herb law. Oh, we can do that easy. We could do that like now. What about a ranch? We just need animal handling 10. Oh, again, easy. Right, King, you got herb law 7. Julia's got herb law 6. Just take Julia. I mean, we can get her later on. Form caravan. Uh, we're going to form one. Say where they are now. We're going to take Julia and King, the four meals that are left, and you can go and set up a farm. Once you've set up a farm, we can actually get some food coming into the colony, which will be very, very nice. Who has decent animal handling? Skylar has decent animal handling. No one else does. Porky has six animal handling. So I'm tempted just to get maybe Porky and someone else to go set one up. We need better people. We need a town. That's what we need. We need a town. I think really what we need to do is we need to get a few of these people out. Uh, like Lorby Lord, um, Mint Salad Clint. We could get all these people out and we could then just go make a town for ourselves. We need animal handlers desperately. Weirdly, the only person who's really got decent animal handling skill is Skylar, and he's a child. We unearthed precious amber times two. Okay, you found treasure while chiseling away the marble. Cool. So you didn't actually get the marble blocks. I wanted the marble. <laughs> Len is watching Izel cut some blocks. Good. God, this this colony is really struggling, isn't it? Our, our little tavern is half built. We was we started off so strong. And it all went downhill when we left Izel in charge of some children. You know what? Screw it. What we're going to do is we're going to take these ones out. You lot, you can go to here. You're going to found a town. I'm I'm bored of this. <laughs> it's taking too long. You're not meant to have that helmet valise. You're so annoying. We're going to have to get someone to pick that up eventually. Okay, you go found a town. You go found a farm. And then we've got the start of something. Something good. Oh, you know what? Can you just found a town now? Because we're going for ages. Uh, village. No enough settlements. Need three within ten tiles. No, it's, it's not going to be enough. Uh, so we need to set up three settlements. We've got one there. One there. So hopefully that means once King and Julia set up a settlement, we'll be good. All right, so you set up a farm. And does that mean that you can now set up a village? Why not? Not enough settlements. It's within 10 tiles. But maybe we can't do that then. Let's add Porky. Be converted. So we'll just go back to be converted. Uh, we'll get them all to be converted. Then we can do it properly. Whatever the case, uh, let's choose something. Oh, we can get a lot of food. That's a lot of food. Um, so it doesn't go off very quickly. Guess the corn? We'll probably get Valise and T Chaos to set up a mining settlement like we talked about. We might need to get Azel to go with the others to then set up a actual town and we'll all be good. But we need to wait till uh, Brent and T Chaos get back there anyway, drop off the cart before we can do anything. We've just got no food again. We are constantly running out. I know it's winter, but this is pretty awful. Uh, we've got some deer. Can we hunt some deer? Who's on hunting? Um, no one. Well, Len is. Len, you want to go hunt? Go hunt that doe. You know what? Just go right up to it and then shoot it in the face. There we go. Six hours. Right. Just... Okay, you're going to shoot that one now, are you? Right. Good job, Len. You just go do that. You actually shot that one. Okay, two are bleeding out. Nice. Right, we've got plenty of food in a minute. So, it's been a few days since I last left off. I was going to wait a little bit longer so that we could get all of our characters nice and converted, which would be very nice, but we did get a few. So, Lormy Lord is back. And I think that's probably the only person since we left off that is back. But one of the things we have to do pretty early on is we're going to have to set up an animal handling settlement just because our animals are all starving. I mean, it is winter. And we have no food for them, but we're kind of reliant on feeding them meals. I think we're down to our last fish, literally. <laughs> so we need to get at least the oxex. I can deal with like the rest of them, but I think the oxex at least would be nice to get them their own little settlement. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go out into the world. Uh, we're going to form caravan. I think we're probably going to go there. 1.3 days. Uh, we're going to take Porky because he, I believe, is... Yeah, six animal handling. He is the best that we've got. 
Uh, we're going to take all the Oxex. We can't get Porky to ride on them. I think he's literally too, yeah, too heavy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to go and pick up Clint. Now, Clint in here, although he's not converted, he is still... Oh, it's only eight hours till he's up. Okay, good. Uh, but he has four animal handling. Now, it's nowhere near his best skill. Obviously, he's good at persuasion, artistic especially, and melee. For now, we're going to get him to use the four animal handling because barely anyone else has decent animal handling. We're just going to have to make do until we get someone else that we can train up to be a decent animal handler. Now, the goose keeps laying eggs but I can't see where they're going. I think that the Oxex are eating the eggs as soon as the geese lay them, which is kind of annoying. But now that they're gone, I'm hoping that nothing is gonna eat them. Now, one of the other things is that I added a mod, which means that I can now build anywhere on the map, even to the map's edge, which I think is nice. It gives us that little bit extra room to actually build in, which is nice. I don't know if he's actually gonna take that Oxex or not. No, God's sake. <laughs> okay, there we go, right. <laughs> He's actually on the map now with all of them, which is great. Now, a really good suggestion for the rename of this place was the Dragonfall Inn. And I really, really like that because of Missy killing that dragon pretty much instantly as soon as we set up the inn. So I think that is now the name of our little settlement. We're going to rename all the settlements. So let me know what you think that we should rename, say, we're going to keep Church Vulu. But let me know what you want me to rename, like the animal handler's place and the farm. Just let me know and I will rename those. Right, so I've renamed our faction to be called the Travelers of Ulu because I think that fits a bit better than whatever it was. <laughs> the Covenant or of something, I think, I don't know. The other thing is we've got a stupid amount of wealth here. Like just ludicrous amounts of wealth that we do not need. I'm worried about raids on this place. We are not well defended for this little inn. This was just meant to be a stop off for maybe one or two colonists to stay behind and minimal amount of loot. So I think let's have a look at Porky. There was, I saw a bank. It requires initial deposit of silver or gold. Gets payments in silver or gold for providing loads to other factions. Transactions, tax, and safekeeping of their valuables. Once an ample amount of interest is collected, delivery will be made to the outskirts. Okay. So, really, we want to maybe invest our money into something then, I guess, rather than just dump it in a bank. We could dump it in a bank, but maybe we should do something else with it. We will just get him to go get Clint, and then you can set up a little animal handling place somewhere around this general area. That'll be good. Right, and just like that, I think that is the last of the marble walls done. Excellent. Now we just need to build a burning stove because I realize the hearth isn't actually giving out any heat for some reason. It just allows you to cook meals, which is a little bit frustrating. So I think we might just get rid of that. And then we can finally start actually having a proper heated base, which will be lovely. Because I'm a little bit worried at how cold it is and... Although I have just realized it's because the windows are open. I'm such an idiot. Let's close these. Maybe this is heating up. Not that much. We'll leave it and see how it does. Right now, Porky, take Clint and you are going to go... We need like one space between them. So I guess it's like the river might be quite nice. Should be able to get some milk and we can get that delivered straight to the inn and that'll be just gravy. Now, my only concern is that we don't have much marble chunks left. I think that's literally... There's... Okay, there's seven left on the map. So I think this is all the marble we're going to get ever. So it's probably going to be enough to make this, and then that's it. So <laughs> if uh, if our walls break down, that's it. We, we can't repair them. We're going to have to go out into the world and find marble chunks to bring back, which is not ideal. So we might have to upgrade that or change it out at some point. Rawhide vest worn by Lormilor were deteriorated to nothing. That's the other thing. We do have a lot of tainted apparel. We're going to have to start making up some decent clothes or buy some because we are running very, very, very low. The boom rat, which was the only other thing on this map, has just been recruited, which is very nice. So tell you what, Missy, come here. Psychic shock. And do you want to do me the honor, Brent, of shooting it? Uh, is L. Skylar, no, <laughs> you shoot it as well. Come on. No, <laughs> why is everyone trying to get over here? Okay, surely you can shoot a boom rat lying on the floor. Apparently I've put too much faith in my colonists. Um, well, before I forget, Missy has the Regrow Limbs book. There we go, lovely. So 
Brent, I want you to read that, please. Thank you very much. And you should now have, blah, 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 this, which enables you to regrow limbs. So we got that for free without having to spend any points. That's very nice. And you actually have two points available to spend because for some reason you gained a hell of a lot of experience just traveling around. So I am going to get Word of Healing and Word of Immunity, which are arguably some of the most useful spells in the game. Without further ado, uh, you are going to regrow limbs on Missy. That used a lot of your mana. So hopefully this means, yeah, your right ear is regenerating. This works with all scars, which is it's, it's so OP as a, as a spell. It's ridiculous. But this means that uh, we shouldn't have much to worry about now. She should have her ears regrown in no time. You two, you need to set up a ranch. There we go. Right. So what do we get? Three out of five oxex. That's pretty good. And it will make 315 milk in 14 days, 23 hours. That's not bad. And we could do the same with the geese and the donkeys. But again, we need like another two separate settlements. Three, really, for the donkeys, the goats and the geese so that we can have plenty of variety. Uh, we are going to struggle for food, though. We just need to eke it out for another 16 hours and we will be fine. In the meantime, let's load some cargo up. I would like to get rid of like all our colony wealth, really. Why do we have human skin? Oh, it's because there. Yeah, I, I had a tiny little raid off camera. It was really insignificant, um, so I didn't bother including it. But yeah, a couple of people died. That's where we got these from. I will sell the telescope. We've already got a spare. And I think at that point we are pretty good. Right, load that up and we'll get a couple of people, maybe Lord Lord and T Chaos to head off to a settlement. Right, so in terms of temperature, that room's fine, that room's fine. Uh, these rooms are not fine. Oh, your other ears regenerated. Oh, amazing. One spell did that. That's really, really good. I need to upgrade this. Once you upgrade your magical stats a bit, you will be really, really, really good. I'm going to keep them on Artificer and Paladin, and I think that'll probably do for Brent. We can have a couple of other people on different magics, but we're on 13 Anima Grass already, which is nuts. So... It won't be long and yeah we'll have an actually decent amount of magic users hopefully one of the things i did add is the props mod i also added the parks mod as a little extra so we can have like a decent little outside area and we can decorate it to our heart's content which i think will be very very nice oh god this is what i was worried about um we've got eight humans from bakuku and missy is actually down right everyone get here quick it's gonna be interesting Izel, uh, search and destroy, please. Brent, we're going to have to get Brutus out there. Uh, Len, get back. Six at... How did you get... Your right arm has been destroyed. Oh, God. Lord, Lord, what are you doing? Go search and destroy, quick. Uh, Desiree, get back, get back. They're beginning their assault. No, they're not. Take them out. Take them out. How are we doing? How are we doing? Len, you're going to be fine. Oh, we're so close. It's really annoying. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. Ah, Brutus lost knee. We're going to fix Brutus up. Don't worry. Uh, everyone, just go back to doing what you're doing. We got some meat. Hey. <laughs> uh, butcher that, please. Brent, you're okay. Yeah, Len, Len is dying. We need to get you on some meditation at some point as well. So let's put that on meditation for the time being. Really, it was just Ezel took a stab and then lost an arm so brent you need to okay skylar's on it skylar the, the other child's gonna heal that child brilliant and oh you've got packet survival meals lovely oh we got a corn finally right let's get that into storage i forgot i had it to butcher human like because i was desperate and len was hungry yeah we, we, we've turned that off now <laughs> that's where i got the human skin from no brent brent's unhappy why are you unhappy we butchered human like yeah that that would do it oh your opinion of Azel has gone down even more. Observe corpse. Okay, we need to get these corpses buried. Um, I did get Azel to eat one. Um, actually, I might get Azel to eat another. She ate a human and it went up by 40. She ate a whole person. <laughs> um, there's still a bit of space in there. She could keep going. Ooh, we actually got nacho cheese? Wait, you weren't next, were you? Okay, we just got nacho cheese arrived. That's fine. Why is Valise lying down? I forgot about your carcinoma. 
Um, also, you need alcohol. Ah, okay, I assumed that would be given to you. Okay, we're probably gonna need to send you off some alcohol then. Okay, right, they're just waiting on one more thing, which is the jade, and then they're done. Okay, good. We got a ton of cloth. I could put some rugs down. Put a rug down underneath that, that might be quite nice. I suppose we will put an inn sign. Make it out of dark wood. I guess there, and we'll try and uh, move it around a bit. I feel like we might need to alter these walls a little bit. Brent's gone in sad wonder. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Yeah, I know we butchered human like. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I don't really like that rug. I think we need dye if we want to recolor it. Um, I suppose green will have to do for the time being. We're going to have to start getting these for guests, I guess. Oh, this is for... There we go. Let's get like that. Put that up to 20. I think that'll do. We're going to charge extortionate fees for this. So is that everything loaded? I think that's everything. Let's cancel that. And then we will load pawns. The children need to come back, don't they? So we might as well load the children up. Or at least Missy up. Missy can go. And I guess Skylar can go. And you two can haul that. And you two can haul this massive heavy cart. I'm sure with the two children will be fine. I mean, Missy's all right. She's got her ears back. She'll be fine. Two children just lugging that mighty wagon full of stuff off to go see the people of Trado. Right, now these people. Let's just have a quick look just to see what we can actually make. So a village, we need five people. That's fine. Uh, Inventors Hall, we need collective of 30 intelligence. Yeah, we need like two more of Nacho Cheese for that. And the mines, we just need mining skill of 10. Oh, Felice could just do that on his own then. Actually, could T Chaos just do that on our own? Probably. Uh, that's just split T Chaos off then. You go into the mountains and you can start a little settlement. Lovely. You guys can pick up Valise and Mint Salad. Hopefully they'll be converted by then as well. Oh, and there we go. Oh, Valise. No, Valise went back. Oh, okay. That's annoying. You three, back the way you came. Go get Valise. We'll wait for Mint Salad. Then we'll head off. It's okay, bullies. Don't worry. We'll get you some alcohol soon. They're on their way. And it looks like Tea Chaos is just about to arrive. Thank goodness. So can you found a mining cave? You can. Good. And what can you get for us? Limestone, slate, granite, iron, silver, jade. You can get onyx, amber, and citrine. Honestly, and granite would be good. Can you just get, yeah, get that delivered to us? That'll be fine. So now, once we pick up Valise and hopefully Mint Salad after they've been converted, we can set up a town. Regrow Lens Arm, please. There we go. Lovely. And you can rescue Len. No, what do you mean there's a flash storm? Um, okay. Uh, luckily, I converted the walls to be marble, not wood. Okay, all our people have come back just in time to help fight the fires. Good. Oh, there we go. Len's arm is healing gonna take a little while because he has to heal everything but it's fine it's gonna be fine we'll just collapse no not again prioritize that i don't want all our anima grass dying what are you doing can you beat out the fire yeah you can do it when i manually do it there we go stop beating out the fire quickly give volley some ale go on Brent, just pour it down his gullet he, he needs it to live there we go he's up now be out of the fire <laughs> He wakes up after being comatosed and in a church to a blazing inferno enveloping the inn. Right, well, it burnt quite a lot down, but I think uh, mostly Chris Grass. I think most of the trees survived and everything, so I think that's all right. Um, natural cheese and extreme break. Yeah, I, I get that. You hate fire. <laughs> we just made you put out a blazing inferno. Len is starving and Missy is starving. Are you actually going to be okay? Malnutrition, trivial. Set up camp there. There we go. We'll get you to harvest them. Valise and Desiree have got the flu. We've got the medicine. We should be fine. We need someone to clean. We just don't have the capacity for cleaning. Azel, I don't want to see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Azel, just come clean this room. Actually, if you could just clean every room, that would be ideal. There we go. And reform vehicle caravan with them on there. Good. We'll get the honey. We'll get that. That's a day's worth of food. Brilliant. There we go. 2.7 days. That should be fine. There we go. Wonderful. Why have we got rats? Get rid of the rats. We don't want rats in here. We're going because we left the corn outside. <laughs> uh, we've also got some Thrumbo, which I don't want either. Let's hunt all the small game. How much you got? 15 Animagrass. Right, it won't be long until we can get another magical character. 
and I reckon Len would be quite good for that. You are magically sensitive. Okay, I think it would be good to get her as Fire Mage. She's Fire Immune and Heat Immunity. Yeah, I think Fire Mage for you would be absolutely amazing if we can. Welcome, Mint Salad. You're actually converted. Yeah, we're going to get you guys to go found a town, I think. Off you pop, then. Maybe here. There we go. Azel, Mint Salad, Nacho Cheese, Volise, Lorby Lord. That will do... Oh, Missy's actually gained Arcane Attunement. Well, she's going to level up in magic. That's very nice on the road. Well, we'll upgrade you when you get back. Oh, dear. Uh, we've got Manhunter Pack. How many? Only three. Okay, that does mean our colony wealth has dropped drastically, which is quite nice. No, they're attacking the guest. You've only got a piece of wood. We're going to have to help. You know what, Desiree? Get back in. There we go. That's one down. Uh, run, run, run. Well done, Brutus. We'll heal you up. Don't worry. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, right. Brent, go rescue Shepard. You're going to be okay. Nine hours. Yeah, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And these guys are actually here. We should finally be able to make a village. What do you mean? Not enough sessions. We've got need three within ten tiles. I don't understand what this means. We've got plenty of settlements. Does it mean like actual settlements? Like we need these types of settlements? Well, that's never going to happen. Oh, maybe it's impossible to do. That's a bummer. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Lorby Lord to go on his own. You go over to the farming settlement. That's fine. Valise with your alcohols. You can go over to the mine. Then we've got Izel Mint Salad Nacho Cheese, which I might just get you all to come back. I mean, Izel running the inn is just quite cool. Mint salad is also only really good for persuasion, and nacho cheese is intelligence, but not too bad. Actually, we could just get mint salad to go back to the church. I'm wondering if now it's created whether I can actually remove, like, lats. It looks like it does. I was worried it would, like, close down. Right, what we might do then is mint salad then. You go over to the church. We will get lats to go into the Dragonfall Inn. You are an adventurer. I think it'd be good to get you back on the road. We'll go and get Nacho Cheese and Azel to come back as well. They can help run the inn until we get a couple more intelligent characters that we can then set up an intelligence place for Nacho Cheese. But I think these two running the show would be quite good. Okay, Missy and Skyla have actually arrived at the people of Trado after all this time. So, um, we're just going to give you a load of stuff and hopefully you'll be our friends. Offer. Enemy now neutral. Right, now we can trade. Give them all our bones. Lovely. We could do with some food for the road. Six days, there we go. Uh, anything else that we could do with? We could do with some more clothes. We'll get a linen veil, silk veil. A couple of them, that'll do. Uh, we are running low on medicine. Might need to get some herbal medicine as well. Once again, we've got two quests happening at the same time, which is bizarre. A nearby settlement, Palud, has a special quest. They would like to purchase 24 war masks. Oh, we get a new colonist. An Animusen. You are amazing at animal handling, and you're a butcher, and you're cook. Oh my god, you're actually really, really, really good. You are master mage. You're, you're just good in general. You're really, really good. Uh, we just need 24 war masks of normal plus quality. We can make them out of wood, I think. That would be really good. Yeah, let's just accept it. Sure, and then what else was the other one? Uh, they would like to purchase two giant savage clubs of normal plus quality. You're a hussar. Oh, we need to get Goju through, and getting that is really difficult in medieval. Possible, but really difficult. Oh, Masterwork harpsichord. No, I'm, I'm good. Let's get rid of that. Can we offer you some silver? Seeing as we've got way too much. There we go. Thank you very much. And now run away. Go back the way you came. Good. Okay. Right, Lads is on our way. Excellent. Right. And Mint Salad, you can go into the church. Lord me Lord, you can go into there. It's going to take them four days to journey back, but then we're fine. And I think at that point, we will get uh, the old team back together again. Brent, Missy, Lats, off on a whirlwind adventure, going to explore new places, because we haven't explored anywhere yet. And before anything else, I want to get a signal fire down. This acts like a way to get quests normally, because quests don't generate because we've got no quests without comms. But this acts like a comms console. We're going to have this mainly because none of the ideology quests are generating. And I'm a little bit concerned that we're going to go this whole playthrough without getting any and that's the whole point of the playthrough is to get to the relics of Ulu. So I think we're just going to have to get the signal fire. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. And we can use it to do the advent of life as well, which would be very, very nice. And that will give us an ancient complex nearby, which might be something that would be good 
for when Lats gets back and Missy, and then they can go off on an adventure doing that. I think that'd be nice. Brent talked about being together when they're not together. He claimed his own group. All right, Brent, this is your group. This is your moment. Brent extolled the virtues of being together. Once again, <laughs> you're not all together. <laughs> <laughs> You're all separated. This is very central to your theme, isn't it? There's Ray and Len spoke about makeup, <laughs> and then you chatted about guns. <laughs> oh, very, very different people. And then Brent just gone off. Talked about hostile planetologists. What are you going on about, Brent? Oh, and Lats has just arrived, and she's already on it on feeding Shepard. Lovely. It's good to have someone who's actually competent back. It was a terrible advent of life. Yeah, it, it seemed like a terrible one, to be honest. I mean, when you've only got two people watching and they turn around to talk about makeup and guns halfway through, it's not a great sign, is it? Oh, God. <laughs> Lats calls a fire in the kitchen. Valise, can you... There you go. You can go to that, and that will generate quite a lot. Can we mine anything else? We can mine anything now. We could mine gold. Ooh. For now, I reckon that's just mine granite. And Natural Cheese and Azelle have arrived back at the inn. Very nice. How is our dragon egg doing? 18 days left. Oh, we got another go fertilized goose egg. Nice. That's another two. Azelle, can you get onto butchering straight away, please? I know you've just arrived, but still. Um, I've also noticed that for some reason, I think with my tampering with the outpost mod, for some reason, the farm was set to produce every six days, which obviously isn't right. So what I've done is I've changed it to two quadrants, which I think is a lot better uh, so i'm getting them to pack just so that we don't get a new shipment they'll be done six hours then we'll resettle we'll be good missy's got another magical attunement level very nice travel is very good for you oh this is nice people are actually doing jobs for once we've got lats on the cooking as is still butchering the inn isn't overly dirty len is floor drawing this is nice this is very nice uh, and our animals are alive. We need to hunt. Oh, we got another. I didn't even notice. We've got another donkey. Hello, little donkey. Welcome. Uh, Papaya and Olive have clearly been very, very busy. And we've got a bulk goods trader. Good. Okay, Brent. Uh, actually, no, Lats. You go trade with them. Uh, we've got plenty of food for now, so I think we're okay in that sense. We could do with some clothes, though. We'll take the beers. We will sell a bit of cloth because we just don't need it right now. And I think that'll do. That'll get rid of some of our colony wealth as well, which is just lovely. There we go. I tell you what, let's sell the donkey foals. We just don't need the donkey foals. And they're just going to use up all the food. A little bit more gold. Like that. There we go. And that should be plenty. And then, Lats, you should be able to check for quests. Peace Talks, Item Slash, Bandit Camp. Any of them will be quite good. I think a bandit camp would be very nice. Let's try the bandit camp. We might be able to get some more prisoners there. Prime Marshal of Mulmugmug has sent us a message. Apparently, small folk based in the nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. The camp is controlled by Bokoku. Martin has asked us to destroy the camp, which is eliminating all the enemies. There are four small folk. Yes. Now, where is it? Okay, that's fine. We'll go take them out. That should be fairly easy, especially when Missy and Skylar are back. Good. They're back in three days, and we will go and deal with that then. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually build these war masks, don't we? So let's get these down. We should be able to build some war masks. I think from this, there we go, war masks. Until you have 24 of uh, normal to legendary, uh, we might need to cut some more trees down, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. And who is on crafting? Nacho cheese could be good. Uh, we'll get you on crafting. Nacho cheese or Brent, either way. You're making war masks already. Amazing. Uh, while we are waiting, I will actually buy some food off them. We are running a bit low. So we'll buy all the mackerel you've got. Ooh, Brent's got magical attunement. Nice. So you can then have, I reckon, a decent... up. That's just upgrade. Boom. There we go. You've got better load. Okay, we're just going to have to wait for our war mask to be done. We've got three so far. Another fourth coming. Oh, that's nice. As was just playing the harp for everyone. How lovely. Cannot wear armor. But you are wearing armor. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think you're meant to be able to wear any of that stuff. Fine. We'll leave you alone. I don't think you're meant to be able to wear any of that armor, but you somehow are. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. You, you, you live your life. We've got more rats. Go kill the rats. Ooh. Missy's has got another magical level. That's crazy. And we have 20 anima grass. So, Len, it's time, my friend. Only adults can link with an anima tree. No, that's not on. I wondered where the gun was coming from. She was hiding behind a tree. Okay, there we go. Well, well done, Len. Ego Brutus. Have your limbs back. 
Right, rescue Brutus. Right, he's already got his eye back, so that's amazing. Well, hopefully after this has happened, all his stuff will be back, which will be lovely, and he'll be back to his good old doggy self. Izel, 98 degrees. Uh, the dragon is the dragon egg is fine. Ooh, that was very hot for a second. Caravan animals wander in. Oh, crimson demigriffs. What do you have on you? Ale, chocolate, and smoke leaf. Silver. Go juice and hornet honey. We can't tame them. Um, I don't think it's worth even attempting to hunt any of them for the small amount of stuff it gives. I mean, the go juice is really rare. It'd be quite nice to get that. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. I think I'll just leave them alone. They're predators. So tell you what, that's preemptively build some palisades like across here. We'll get a little log gate. Yeah, you make that quickly. I do not want these getting through. I'd rather they just leave the map to us. We'll block it off. That'll be fine. Okay, Missy and Skylar have arrived. We'll get you to come down to here, please. Thank you very much. Now we forbid it. And there should be no one this side. Yep, good, excellent. I think we're going to need to make another dirt hole uh, for the time being. Let's make another one around there. Just so we can store some more stuff, get it off the floor. So, Missy, you had a ton of skills to do, didn't you? Yeah, three. Uh, mind break. A lobotomize the target and turns him into a serving wrestler's thrall. Mass hallucination. Drain mana. Word of alliance. Speak words of friendship and benefits to a close target using mind control, helping them realize that you're not all that bad. Only works on those willing to listen and affect scales with the caster's magical aptitude. That's quite cool. So we could ally with anyone. That's quite nice. Uh, berserk. Arcane explosion. Uh, berserk pulse. Arcane Detonation. Tell you what, let's get Word of Pain. Berserk. We'll upgrade the last one so that you've got a bit more potential. You've got 166 load now. We can turn that off. That's very nice. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. You're growth to 8. You're fine. Skylet is growth to 2. Nearly growth to 3. You've only got 40 days left. I don't think you're going to turn into that good a character. But Missy could already just go. She's still got a year left. She's already grown to eight, so it doesn't matter. She can't learn anymore. Oh, happy days, and then she'll be an adult. So she, she's fine. Despite the fact that Missy was with Skylar for ages. Sky saved me from my wounds. I will always be in debt, but he slighted you. So you're already plus five. And Skylar feels absolutely nothing towards Missy. Nothing. He's also wearing a top hat, which is just amazing. You don't like Len because she's physically unsightly. She killed a colony animal and she ate human flesh. But you like her because she killed a colony animal and you had lots of deep talks, right? Uh, you don't like nacho cheese. Physically hideous, of course. You really don't like Izel. This is the thing with hit, like, being hideous, is no one likes you. I mean, she, nacho cheese is hideous and he doesn't even like Izel. That's kind of sad. Izel loves Brent, like a lot. Oh, just, she's hideous. Quite likes Desiree and quite likes Len, but no one likes her. That's so sad. Maybe we should find a way to try and raise their beauty. I think if we get like jewelry, I think that ups their beauty. Yeah, so let's have a look at Desiree. She has this jade necklace and that raises your beauty by one. Are you gonna let me drop that? I mean, I think that's a bit cheaty, but yeah, we can actually drop that. So Izel, if you now wear that, yes, your beauty is minus two. You're very unattractive. If we put this on, I think that will make you a bit better. Now, if you have it on, minus one. Right, so if we get a ring on you, you're not going to be hideous. People are going to be like, oh, you've got some fancy jewelry. Now you're okay. Right, so we need to look out for a ring or something like that you can wear. So does that mean now that people are more likely to like you? Yeah, Brent's like, you're all right now. He doesn't even seem to mind that you ate human flesh. <laughs> right, he actually is fine now. And um, without further ado, that's set off. It's been too long. So... Uh, form caravan we're gonna go up to there 2.5 days we're gonna get missy lats brent we're gonna go on your merry way we're gonna take brutus of course because brutus has not been with us for quite a long time uh we could also take olive and papaya sure that will help and go right head on there 1.6 days brilliant <gasps> we've got a new person a herder named buffy we needed a herder oh my god Okay, oh, I thought you were a Nis, but you're not. You just got a, <laughs> you just got a hat of one. Oh, you're just a baseliner. You are a ecologist and talented farmer. That is amazing. You're exactly what we needed, and you are a traveler by default. Without further ado, I'm sorry we we've, we've barely got to know you, Buffy, but you are going on your way. We'll send you to there. Uh, you can take the geese. 
I guess you can take some goose eggs, because they might hatch on the way, and that'll do. Someone else, what is going on? A digger. Flossy the digger. You are a red cap. You're 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 small. Um, very fast runner, magically sensitive, small people toughness. This is nuts. You are amazing at artistic. I thought I said you were a minor. I don't know if we've got a use for you, unfortunately. I'm gonna get you to go to the church because you can get converted then, and then we can go from there. Buffy can go start a little farm for our geese. That'd be lovely. We can get some eggs coming in. That'll be amazing. How long do we have until you're gone? 40 or 15 hours. Nearly there. Right, so that's add Flossy Fox to the church. Buffy, you can then set up a ranch. Lovely. We're going to get some eggs from that, aren't we? Hopefully. Birth in 24 hours. Nice. So we'll get 11 goose eggs in 14 or 15 days. Okay, that's not bad, but we've got up to 11 geese. You do have three, so hopefully that'll increase up to six. Shuttle's arrived. Oh, right on our balloon. Okay, goodbye, Desiree. It was nice knowing you. What do we get from your quest? 19 goodwill. Well, you did help a lot. She was really good at getting all our anima grass done. She did a lot. Pretty pleased about her. Right, we have arrived. Lats doesn't actually have a weapon. I thought you had your bow. Missy only has her magic. Okay. Right, so it looks like he's up to Brent. Lats is actually good at melee, though. I tell you what, you're going to take Oathtaker. I I'm I'm reluctant to give it up, but you, you need it. You don't have anything else. We've only got one ranged attack. We're going to have to rely, I think, on possibly Berserk. Stick out the way for the time being. Uh, Missy. Although we could, uh, if we downed one, we could recruit them. Holy jeez, you are amazing. Healer as well. You are amazing at mining and construction. You are all around good. You? What are you? Most outlaws have heard of Swathalfs, believe that they are some recently malevolent offshot divergers. The true nature of them is unclear due to how rarely they are seen. Great crafting, right. You are unattractive, but that's fine. Dwarven grit. We can't recruit you anyway. It's you. I want you. Right, that gives quite a lot of load, but only uses a tiny... Oh, Psychic Shock uses barely any. Do that. Right, there we go. Right, we've got it. They're fine. Okay, right. Everyone get over here then. We might need Missy to do another one. I are you going to be okay if I do that? Ineffective. Physically deaf. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Yeah, this, is this isn't good. Okay, Brent, get back. Missy, get back. You're useless here at the moment. Okay, good. She is bleeding out in a bit. She wouldn't be a bad character to have. Unless <laughs> Brutus just annihilates her. What have we got in here, then? So we've got tribal wear. Another a war mask. Oh, that will help. Do you have anything on you? You giant lady, you? A fire Jotun? No. And you? Baseliner with nothing. Okay. Do you have any... Oh, you've got jewellery. I didn't even notice that. So does that still increase beauty? Yeah, and social impact. Despite the fact it's tainted, so it probably won't... It'll probably upset them a bit. Okay, we, we can do something with that. That worked out quite well. We took them out. We also got a prisoner, a potentially amazing prisoner, Madam. And she doesn't have brain damage yet. She might end up with it. I'm not quite sure how that works. But a veterinarian and an animal friend, she is the... Like, amazing, amazing colonist. Um, yeah, she could run a farm all on her own, or we could give her to one of our animal settlements, and that will hopefully help get some more milk or something. That would be great. She also has that animal war call. Calls an animal to fight with you for a few hours. That's kind of nuts. That would be quite nice. Okay, well, we've got potentially another colonist. Finally, Len, that's check for quests, please. Uh, bandit cap. Prisoner willing to join. A sword. Dead smoke. All right there. Okay, I think we're going to deal with that next episode then. Yeah, let me know what you want me to rename the settlements. And then, next episode, now that we've got this set up, we can finally crack on with the actual adventuring. Like we're supposed to. Explore the world and see what we can find. And then we can send all our prisoners back this way. 
and we'll be good. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Lem, Belise, Lord, Lord, T. Kales, Torman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Lloyd, Heretic, and Codry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. So, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. But cheers, guys. See you next episode. Bye-bye.